here here we go again and you pop this saying the skin disappears really quick and you're left with a pseudo sphere of water that undulates around a little bit and eventually surface tension forces will convert it into a sphere or no this is a, a slow motion so watch closely so it goes pop the skin disappears really really quickly and then two shock waves form uh, as a result of the, the rubber skin peeling away and they're on opposite ends of the balloon and uh, they come together in the middle and make it squeeze out kind of like a pancake and this and, and then after that surface tension forces will uh, uh, make the the resultant water pull together in an undulating mass until it eventually forms a nice a pretty sphere so again, here's, here's a balloon, it gets popped. Notice the rubber peels away and you're left with this water in the shape of what used to be the balloon. And then here you can see the two shock waves moving in towards the center, uh, squeezing the water into a pancake-like structure. And then surface tension forces will, will uh, pull on, on that pancake and make it into a potato and then that potato oscillates around and eventually you end up with a nice pretty sphere. And of course you can't do this too many times. I mean this is really neat. So here's, here's yet one more example of what happens. And each one is a little different. And again the skin peels away really quickly and you're left with this uh, uh, unsupported shape of water which on earth would just fall to the ground under gravitational forces really quickly and you you won't be able to see the resultant behavior now the balloons that I had here were kind of uh, oval shaped or oblong well I, I found one that was more spherical so let's look what happens with a uh, with something that's close to a sphere when the rubber balloon is removed so here goes so again, the skin peels away. You're left with this close to a sphere of water, unsupported. You see some ripples on the surface. And now you can see the two shock waves coming together uh, and, and squeezing it into a pancake. And this is a, a really interesting example where a single point initiated shock wave will end up uh, making uh, two adjacent shock waves coming together in the middle and squeezing this into a pancake. Oh, and watch this. It formed this long column of water and then the Rayleigh instability comes and breaks it up. If you have a column of water greater than pi times the diameter, it becomes unstable and it breaks up. So here's the final one shown in real speed. And I, I want to end this by saying that we did all of these in our hygiene area. And we have Рождество я посылаю поздравления на станцию, и на ум мне приходят слова французского поэта «Земля голубая, как апельсина». Here we have a large free sphere of water about the size of my head, 130 millimeters in diameter, and we put a puff of air, 10 cc's in 100 milliseconds, radially directed in from the side, and look at the resulting waves. 
and there's a combination of surface waves and body waves that go through this sphere. We saw that in real time. Now we see it in slow motion. Starts off with a crater sending a droplet off and then a series of surface waves which come together at the antipoidal or 180 degree point from the impact and these waves collapse back down and uh, go across uh, the other side towards the impact point and they continue until viscous forces dampen things down. A delightful interplay of both surface and body waves here. Here we have a sphere of water, 75 millimeters in diameter, with an air bubble inside, about 35 millimeters in diameter, and we inject water droplets anywhere from one to eight millimeters in diameter into the bubble and look at the resulting collision dynamics where they collide with each other and the walls. Most of the collisions result in an elastic collision but every once in a while a collision will result in a mass transfer across the interface and this mass transfer has a momentum exchange associated with it which will propel the droplets. Here a droplet is going in circular motion on the inside of the sphere until a mass transfer occurs that propels it off the surface. Here's a sphere of water 50 millimeters in diameter with an effervescent antacid tablet. Uh, bubbles form rapidly from a chemical reaction. This is an example of a uh, heterogeneous nucleation where bubbles form on a solid surface and can get a momentum exchange and travel out into the fluid. The bubbles rapidly coalesce. Once they reach a certain size, they seem to eat other bubbles at a faster rate, thus growing larger. And in this form of a bubble war, you end up with a bipolar situation with two large bubbles that rapidly eat all the other bubbles and eventually you get a situation where one bubble dominates and all the other bubbles are